How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing a 10 ton split system in a commercial application. So today we're gonna be focusing on the indoor unit, getting that old existing air handler removed and getting the new one hung and possibly getting everything connected. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. And by RLS, original, patented, proven. Being able to press refrigerant fittings in the field with the RLS system has been a game changer for me. So if you've been holding off because of the price, now's a good time. For the rest of this month, they're offering a $500 instant rebate on their tool kits. And if you've got the rigid RP200 series or the Milwaukee M12 series, you can get the rigid jaw set for that as well. So right now is the perfect time to get into the system. If you don't find one in your local supply house, go to truetechtools.com, see what they've got in stock, Make sure you use the promo code QUALITYHVAC. That'll save you 8% on your order. All right, so here is the outdoor unit that we're gonna be replacing. It's got a 5 8 liquid line, inch and 3 8 suction line, as you can see there. So anyhow, this is an old ream 10 ton straight cool condenser. We're gonna be going back with a train. Uh, disconnect stays. There's actually a breaker inside there but that's gonna stay for now. And then uh, re-insulate most of this line. It goes all the way up and then into the building there. I think eventually we're gonna replace all of this insulation, but for right now, we'll just get it insulated. It's probably right there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of what the outdoor unit looks like. Um, but again, today we're gonna to focus our efforts on that indoor unit and getting that swapped out and then tomorrow we'll come and swap this out all right so here's going to be the indoor unit we're going to be swapping out this thing is like a 96 model pile we got plenty of room we may have to move a few things around but we got plenty of room to get that old one out reconfigure the uh unistrut the whole support system for the new unit because the new unit's definitely going to be much longer but that's what we're working with all right all right so basically what we just did truck and trailer with the unit and the lift all was right here we had to get it into that loading dock area right there I wish I would have just rented a box truck or something that was tall enough to where we could have just put it directly in, but too late for that. What we ended up doing was uh, we got the lift out first and we put the lift down and we just basically put the unit on the lift, lifted it up, pushed it inside, um, and then just, you know, push the lift up in there as well. And of course I've got my three wheel dolly, the package unit dolly, and that's what I was using to get it wheeled all the way to the other side of the building. So a little extra work, but we got it. All right, just like that, we got the old one down. That went well. So this lift actually, I just picked up yesterday. It was given to me actually. So that worked out well. I just went ahead and put a strap on it just to make sure that it was nice and secure to the, to the lift. I have no issues coming down, especially because this was the first time I've used this particular lift. But everything looked in good shape, so I didn't have any concerns. All 
All right, so now that we got the old one out of the, out of the way, we can go ahead and measure. If we can use this, we may have to re redo that depending on this new unit. So we're gonna get it unboxed now and figure out where the mounting locations are and uh, how it's gonna be suspended. Pretty sure these are the locations of where we come in with our, our uh, all thread. So we just need to measure those four corners there and then go from there. All right, so basically 37 inches from front to back. And let's see what we have from right to left. 61 inches. 61, all right. 37 by 61. All right, so while we got the unit down, we're gonna be reading the manual. We're gonna go through and make sure we have everything set up for our application before we stick it up in the air. Now, uh, the drain line was the first one, so we got that fixed. The second thing is the blower motor. This thing can be wired up for high volt, which is 460, or low volt, which is 208, 230. Our application is 208, 230. It does say that it comes standard shipped uh, wired for low volt but we'll, what we want to do is verify so we're gonna uh, check the motor and make sure that this little arrow is pointing on the uh, the low volt side so I'm gonna grab my flashlight here and we're gonna go right in here and there's that little uh, if you can see it so right now there it is it's pointing at 230, if you can see that. Yep, there we go. So if it was moved over one, it would be set up for high volt. So we are set up for low voltage. We're good to go. All right, so before we get this thing up in the air, our line set's gotta come out to this side. So I wanna go ahead and get all of that done down here so it's a lot easier to get to. So we gotta braise this 90 on here and then also one right there going out. So what I'm gonna do is Definitely need to be purging nitrogen while we're brazing, especially on big copper lines like this. So I just taped on the hose and then I covered this completely. And then I'm gonna just take my knife and just poke a hole in here. So that way it can build up pressure. That way we can go ahead and purge nitrogen, get all of those brazed. And that way we can put the covers on. And once we hang this, all we have to focus on is extending it from here, which would be a whole lot easier. Let the, let it purge just for a, you know, a few seconds. It's also gonna be coming out of other locations, but I wanna make sure that I got it completely full of nitrogen, all the air is out. So that's why I purge it like this for uh, about a minute and then I'll back it off down to that top line of, of braze. Now I'll go ahead and start brazing. Oh yeah, never doubted myself. All right, so we are ready to get this unit hung. As you can tell, the brackets up there are not level. The front is higher than the, than the back. So what that's gonna do, the all thread coming down is not gonna be uh, perpendicular to the actual floor, which would you know make the unit not set level as far as it being hung. So what I did, I got all my uh, all thread cut to size and I used my Hillmore bender with a half inch and I went ahead and bent 
when I needed to. So that way these all threads will come down nice and level and uh, should, it should make that unit set nice and level without any issues. All right, so we are ready to get this thing in the air, but I don't really trust that this one lift is gonna keep the unit nice and level as we go up. I wanted to go ahead and reconnect the duct down here so it was easy to install and seal. So that way, once we get it up in the air, it's done. So what I decided to do is mount this come along up there on that beam. So that way we can attach it to here and it's gonna support this side while the lift supports that side. Hopefully this goes nice and smooth, but we got our rubber clamps and all thread, everything's ready to go. So let's we'll see how smooth this goes. Alrighty, she is hanging. So we ended up supporting the front by installing some Unistrut across with some beam clamps. Probably see it right there. And then brought some S-lock down to secure the duct. So it's solid, it's level. It looks really good, super happy with how uh, the lift and the come along working together brought it all up. Nice and safe. That's the biggest thing. All right, so we got everything hung. We have the refrigerant lines piped in. So those are ready to go tomorrow when we come back and do the condenser. When we can purge nitrogen on the whole system, we'll brace those in. The drain line is in. We are gonna install a float right there. Just don't have one with us today. So we'll make sure we install that, get a proper uh, strap on the drain, strap up on the wall as well. But yeah, basically finishing this drain line and the refrigerant line tomorrow. And this indoor unit is complete very happy with how everything turned out looks really nice and we were safe doing it so that's super important for me but we're just getting everything cleaned up and then we'll be back tomorrow to do the condenser all right so that's going to complete today's video stick around for part two where we're going to be replacing this outdoor unit i didn't want to put them all in one uh, video because it would have been super long i'd rather cut it up into two separate videos for you so Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.